how to tap into your feminine energy that feminine essence let's talk about that first of all i want to make this clear because a lot of people doesn't know the difference between femininity and feminine energy they both had a friend everybody possess regardless of gender some sort of feminine energy within them so it doesn't matter what gender you are it will eventually help you only if you will tap into your feminine self if you want to do something first we need to understand why we are doing it in the first place right so what's the importance of tapping into your feminine energy because abundance is feminine energy all the good things that you see in life yes they all are feminine and in order to receive a lot of abundance in order to be in that flow state in order to tap into your creative self you need to step into your feminine energy imagine it like water that is always flowing so it's like a very flowing energy surrendering energy nurturing energy and when someone is in their feminine essence they radiate they glow they automatically become so magnetic because then you're not rushing things you're automatically very seductive and everything about you just becomes so beautiful so let's talk about some ways in which you can embody your feminine self 1 2 3 Number 1 do things as slowly as you can romanticize everything and when i say everything i mean everything you're eating romanticize it pour your all love in that while walking don't be always be in rush move slowly move in a certain way take care of your posture you'll be saying shruti these things are very you know external you need to understand sometimes we make changes externally in order to make changes internally once you will start embodying these practices automatically you will start feeling soft you will start feeling safe you will start feeling in your power you move at a pace when you're doing everything be super conscious of what you are doing be even if you're drinking water drink it in a way which is like so seductive being hot is a mentality so if you think and act from a place of that it makes people turn their head it makes your aura very magnetic so start flowing like a water in your life number 2 live a princess life now what do i mean by that feminine is really all about aesthetic if we look at from a different perspective so let's say when the things around you are clean and you know everything is just so aesthetically pleasing it directly sends signals to your brain that you are safe or that you are somehow in control you will feel balanced when things will be aesthetic in your surroundings i'm not saying just you know go out of your budget and just decorate just add on simple simple things which brings you joy and i know it takes a little effort to do things it takes a little effort to decorate your food when you while you are eating to eat slowly right and uh, just to take care of how you're looking every single day but these things will ultimately help you tap into your feminine energy and therefore you will automatically become so magnetic and your mind will be at peace you see this is where a lot of people get wrong you're not doing things in order to click pictures and about the aesthetics you don't have to post pictures on instagram you don't have to do that you see there's this one thing something is looking aesthetically pleasing and then you're clicking a picture in order to click picture you are making something look aesthetic there is difference so make sure your life look aesthetically pleasing are you getting what i'm saying number third is move your body and feminine energy is all about movement feminine energy is all about that flow right do some stretches there are literally yoga postures stretches that you can practice on your bed you don't have to even get a yoga mat okay you're so lazy to do that you're getting what i'm saying right move your body dance it out always say it you're sad dance it out do you know we carry a lot of stress in our asses and so move your body as much as you can number fourth is tap into your creative self when was the last time you drew something when was the last time you danced when was the last time you created something when was the last time you did something which you are passionate about or which used to be your passion when was the last time i can understand we are so caught up in a world you know and not everyone is so privileged to do whatever they want to do with their time but again the whole point of it is to create time for things that you love because it's just one life and you know it's all about moments i was talking about this with my mother like it's all about just moments the work is going to be there always like even after we will die the work is going to be there but you the time you were going to spend with yourself yes that's precious and make sure you prioritize that because if you want prioritize yourself tell me who else will and we are expecting people out there to love us when we don't even love ourselves 
now that's bullshit be the energy you want to attract you want love you want validation you want flowers you want everything give them to yourself first you want people to make time for you make time for yourself first it all starts with you at least once a day tap into that creative expression of yours i'm telling you you will feel amazing number 5th is romanticize your life you're never going to regret romanticizing your life you see all of this this wasn't needed but i just wanted to romanticize my life i designed all of it i didn't bought it from anywhere else why because it just makes me feel so good about my room and about myself so do things which makes you happy go and treat yourself once in a while go and date yourself if you are not with anyone be grateful for the life you're living right now pour love into everything that you do take care of yourself take care of your body connect with god connect with universe have conversation with him have conversation with yourself while looking in the mirror this is like one of the most profound practices you can ever do do things which brings you joy and step into love love is just not limited to a person you can pour love into everything because we are surrounded by love nature is feminine we are surrounded by abundance do you realize that so try and look the beauty that you're always surrounded with when i started practicing feminine energy in my own life when i started tapping into my feminine energy i was really masculine and sometimes i still am but i always try to at least give one hour to myself every single day so this is the same thing which i encourage you to do and i hope these five practices will help you if you like this video make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and for more videos like this make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you have any video suggestions make sure you put them in the comment section send them to souls who really need to step into their feminine energy on your soul love you're amazing and and I'm so grateful for you thank you so much namaste i'll see you in the next one